So like I said in my other videos, we are a military family and we move about every three years or so. This July, we are moving from Germany. We're moving um, <clears throat> back to New Jersey. And I say back to New Jersey because that's where we started from back way back in 2001. Um, and every three years since then, we have moved to different places. We moved um, from New Jersey to Hawaii, from Hawaii to Okinawa, Japan, from Okinawa, Japan, back to Hawaii, and then from Hawaii to Germany, and that's where we live right now. So our three years is up, and we have to move on from Germany, and I, it's kind of, I don't know, I have very mixed feelings about this because I love it here so much. Um, and the only reason why I'm not so terribly destroyed about moving here is because we're moving back to where our family is, or most of our family. But Jeff and I were both born and raised in New Jersey, and most of our family um, lives either in New Jersey or around New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. So we're, my kids are super excited to go back near family, and we haven't been near family in 13 years. So they're really excited. Um, but I love it here, and they've never lived in the actual United States besides Hawaii. So I know what it's like there. And not that it's terrible, but after living out of the country so long, I just have grown to love it outside the United States. Um, so I'm a little nervous to move back there. So, anyway, we were packing up to move in July, and I wanted to take you guys with us to show you guys what it is like to have to move and pack up your entire house and, you know, paint over all your walls and get everything ready to move a family of six um, from one country to another. We're starting with Zoe's room today. And we're starting with Zoe's room because she is gone right now. She's in Austria for a um, baseball game. And yeah, this is our life. So let me show you what we're doing with Zoe's room now. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is Zoe's room. And I've already started on it, so it's a little bit of a mess. But I wanted to show you that, um, yeah, so she's got green walls. And her green walls are going to have to be painted back to the white color. Um, everything on her um, on her closet doors have to come off. Um, everything on her shelves are going to be packed away. And as you can see, I've already started to go through her drawers and got most of the junk out of all her drawers. And now this stuff has to be packed up and stuff. Um, yeah, there's a trash bag. And yeah, so basically I've already started, got a, um, a bunch of stuff out of the way. But I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like first. And, yeah, we're going to see what it looks like when we get everything packed up. So, I got all this stuff off of her closet doors. They look so bare. And, you know, what? I was, as I was taking all this stuff down, I was thinking to myself, I really wish that I would have recorded, um all of our moves every single time we ever moved because we move so much you know, and they don't remember that kind of stuff. I just wish I would have done this before. I wish I would have recorded everything just so they could look back and see you know the house and their rooms and everything out so I think this will be really good for them and for us and for other people who are watching so they can see what it's like. But real quick um, as I was pulling the stuff down I wanted to show you a couple stuff that stood out to me off of, that was that she had on her closet doors. She had this hanging up by Gracie and it says, Zoe, you are so beautiful and you can't get any prettier. I love you so etc much. You make me laugh so much and make me love you even more when you just be yourself. Don't worry what people say to you. You are the most beautiful. Happy birthday. And then the little orange guy says, it's Zoe's birthday. And then the little girl down here, I guess it's Zoe and Gracie, says, you are the best sister. So if this was Grace Zoe's birthday last year, probably when she was turning 15, so Gracie would have only been um, 9 when she wrote that. Then I found this from Maverick, and he like loves making things, so I'm sure he cut out the heart. And it says, Zoe, I love you. You are so beautiful. You can never be more beautiful than you are. You are the most beautifulest person in the world. 
And that's from his, her brother, and Maverick must have only been about six or seven when he wrote this. Maybe even younger, but I think he was about six or seven. And then, the last thing, this, I just love this so much. Gracie sat and typed um, on an actual typewriter, and she wrote this to Zoe. It says, Zoe, thank you for being so nice to me. You make me smile even when I'm sad. You make my day much better. You are beautiful no matter what anyone says. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you in a nice way. You also have an amazing voice. I am very delicious <laughs> of you, so keep it up. You are a great swimmer. You will make it to the swim team. I don't care how fast you are. When I grow up, I want to be as athletic and awesome as you. So like I said, keep up the awesome. Keep up the awesome. Your favorite sister, Gracie. <laughs> Sorry I read it a little off, but I couldn't tell. She didn't put periods or punctuation, so I couldn't really tell how the sentence ends. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you those things um, because as I was pulling them down, I just some of them were just really, really special. So here's all the stuff that was on her, um, on her closet doors, and I'm going to put them in this folder right here so she can decide what she wants to do when we get to our new place. And Zoe's room is all done for now. So the only things that I left out, or left like out in her room um, so far is, I left her bag for school down there, her makeup mirror, um, her ID, and some gift certificates because I'm not sure if she wants to use them before we move. Um, school stuff. This is all of her stuff packed up in her room, except for a couple stuff that I want to make sure I, um, it's glass, so I want to make sure I wrap up here and here. And then her typewriter has to go somewhere else. Um, her lamp and her curtains, which can be last minute. Her hamper with her clothing. Because we're not getting our stuff picked up for another three weeks, so she needs somewhere to put her dirty clothes. Um, her dresser, which... We'll not, we will not be doing anything. The, the movers will pick that up. And then up on her dresser, I left her coffee machine with her coffee, the little jar where she keeps her money, her, a book that I know she's reading, plus it belongs to the library, her incense, and some headphones. And then we took her headboard and her footboard down, so now all she's left with is her bed, with her bedding on it. Um, I left my painting that I made for her up only because um, I wouldn't wrap it up anyway. I would just put it on the side to, and wait for the movers to wrap it up. So I'll just leave something up to make it look more like a room for her. And then her little bedside table with her lamp and her robe. So that is it. Her entire room is done for now. Um, and then right before we move, we will have, or right before they come pick up all of our stuff, we'll put away all the little odds and ends, and the big furniture, and the beds and everything, they come pack. So, and then once they get all of our furniture, we're going to paint her room, so. Uh, before we moved here, Jeff, um, Jeff got to the house, got here in Germany first. He was in Iraq for a year, and then from Iraq... He went to training for a couple months, and then from training, he came here and moved here. And he did that so that I could let the kids finish school. So he came here in February of 2011, and I didn't come here until June of 2011. So he came here and got our house for us. And as soon as he saw this room upstairs, he said, this is Zoe's room. And he knew it because it's one of the smaller rooms in the house. And it had like a little window over there where you could see the mountains. And then it had these two skylights up here. And he just thought that it would be almost like a little attic room. And she would love it. And, it, and she did. It was a perfect room for her. So I just wanted to share that real quick. Because I am totally going to miss this place. And I'm going to miss Zoe's room. And we've had some great memories in here. Da, da. What? <laughs> da, da, da. Oh my gosh, what did you do? It looks awesome! Well, because we're moving, everything got packed up. I mean, everything, though. Did you 
Everything. Wow. Thank you. I love you. I thought you were going to be like, no. No, this yeah. is how I wanted my room. Yeah, everything's this clean. This is how I wanted my bed. Your bed's on the floor. This is how I wanted it. Oh, mama. I know, real quick. Just, I just want you to answer one question. Come Tell on, me mama. real quick one or your favorite memory of this room. Real quick. One memory or your favorite memory of this room? Well, one time. Um, okay. Well, I have a lot of good memories with Gracie when we would sleep in here. Um, I have a really good memory of when we slept in here one time and we had, were drinking smoothies and we thought that a ghost was drinking our smoothies. <laughs> um, I can't even think right now, I'm so tired, but we heard ghost noises. I have good memories, even in the morning when I get ready with Calcifer, um, the cat. <laughs> and, um... I have actually a really good memory of when I was sick one time and I had a, I had a cold and I was laying in bed and um, I was watching Lawless, the movie, and I was <laughs> <laughs> yeah tardy and I was sleeping and it was just really yeah, nice it's and oh she's so pretty I know isn't she great the way to see some of the new Barbies I know I did they're, oh. they're so cool and also I I have I think one of the best memories too is when. We first moved here. We didn't have. We had like government furniture, and we used to play with the boxes in here. And it's really, I love my room. Do you like this room? Yes. So, great. all right. So, love you. I love you too, Mama. Are you picking your nose? No, I. I'm <laughs> just joking. I love you, Zoe. This is.